It's a tale as old as time. A story that has been passed down through generations, whispered in the hallways of homes and witnessed by countless families. A battle of wills as epic as any Hollywood blockbuster, a confrontation that rivals the greatest showdowns in cinematic history. In one corner we have the majestic feline, master of the domain, ruler of the scratching post and connoisseur of naps. This creature, with its regal demeanor and aloof attitude, commands respect and adoration from all who enter its kingdom. In the other corner, the roaring beast known as the vacuum cleaner, a machine designed to keep our homes spotless, yet it strikes fear into the hearts of our furry companions. This is the ultimate showdown, cat versus vacuum. A clash that has been reenacted in countless living rooms, each time with the same intensity and drama. And it's a battle that plays out in living rooms across the globe. From small apartments to sprawling houses, no home is immune to this timeless conflict. If you've ever shared your home with a cat, you've likely witnessed this age-old conflict firsthand. The moment the vacuum cleaner roars to life, the cat's eyes widen, its fur stands on end, and it either flees in terror or stands its ground, ready to defend its territory. But what is it about these seemingly harmless cleaning appliances that sends our feline friends into fits of terror or aggression? Is it the noise, the movement, or something more mysterious that triggers such a strong reaction? Let's journey into the heart of this hilarious household drama. We'll explore the psychology of our feline friends, the design of the vacuum cleaner, and the unique dynamics that make this standoff so entertaining and enduring. Join us as we unravel the mystery behind the great household standoff. To understand the cat's reaction to the vacuum, we must first understand the cat itself. Cats are creatures of instinct and intuition. They perceive the world through a symphony of senses, each one finely tuned to detect the slightest change in their environment. Their hearing is exceptional, capable of picking up high-pitched sounds that escape our human ears. Their eyesight is adapted for low light, allowing them to navigate the shadows with ease and their sense of smell, oh, their sense of smell. It's a world of nuanced aromas undetectable to us that paint a vivid picture of their surroundings. Now imagine the vacuum cleaner from a cat's perspective. This large, unfamiliar contraption invades their peaceful domain, disrupting the delicate balance of their sensory world. It roars like a monster truck, its motor a cacophony of low-frequency vibrations that rattle their very bones. The air currents it generates are like invisible tornadoes, swirling dust and debris into a frenzy. And let's not forget the smell, that strange metallic odor mixed with the faint scent of dust mites and who knows what else, assaulting their sensitive noses. Faced with this sensory onslaught, cats react in a variety of ways, all dictated by their innate survival instincts. Some cats choose fight, puffing themselves up to appear larger, hissing and swatting at the perceived threat with claws extended. Others opt for flight, dashing under the nearest piece of furniture or hightailing it to the safety of a high shelf, their tails puffed out like bottle brushes. And then there are those who choose freeze, becoming statues, their eyes wide with fear, hoping that the monster will simply pass them by. Each reaction is a testament to the power of instinct and the cat's unwavering commitment to self-preservation. Section five, when size matters, the Goliath vacuum. Let's be honest, vacuums are big, they're loud. To a cat, they might as well be Godzilla stomping through Tokyo. The sheer size difference is enough to trigger a primal fear response. It's like David versus Goliath, except Goliath has a rotating brush head and a penchant for sucking up cat toys. No wonder some cats puff up trying to appear larger than life. It's their way of saying, don't mess with me, you noisy behemoth. Section six, the science of fear, a sensory overload. The cat's fear of the vacuum isn't simply a matter of size. It's a complex interplay of sensory overload. Remember their heightened senses, the ones that make them such incredible hunters? Those very same senses can work against them when it comes to vacuums. The loud noise, the strange smell, the sudden gusts of wind, it's all too much for their sensitive systems to process. It's like being trapped in a wind tunnel during a rock concert with someone blasting an air freshener in your face and... 
Section 7 Household Tales whispers from the front lines. Ask any cat owner and they'll likely have a hilarious story about their own cat's unique reaction to the vacuum. It's almost a rite of passage in the world of feline companionship. The moment that vacuum cleaner roars to life, it's as if a battle cry has been sounded. There's the cat who launches a full-blown attack only to be gently pushed aside by the unyielding machine. This brave warrior, undeterred by the vacuum size and noise, sees it as an invader that must be vanquished at all costs. Then there's the one who disappears for hours, only to emerge once the coast is clear, acting as if nothing happened. This stealthy feline, a master of evasion, knows exactly when to retreat and when to reappear, maintaining an air of nonchalance. And then there's the cat who, after years of terror, finally makes peace with the vacuum, even going so far as to rub against it affectionately. This transformation from fear to friendship is a touching reminder of the adaptability and resilience of our furry friends. These stories shared amongst cat lovers are a testament to the endless entertainment and heartwarming quirks that our feline companions bring to our lives. Each tale, whether of bravery, stealth or unexpected friendship, adds to the rich tapestry of experiences that make living with cats so uniquely rewarding as these moments filled with laughter and surprise that remind us why we cherish our pets so deeply. Section 8 the power of play turning fear into fun. While the cat vacuum rivalry might seem like a recipe for disaster, there's hope for peace in our time. With a little patience and understanding, we can help our feline friends overcome their fear and even learn to see the vacuum as something less threatening. The key, play, by engaging our cats in fun activities that involve the vacuum from a safe distance, of course, we can gradually desensitize them to its presence. Think feather wands, laser pointers, or even just dragging a toy mouse across the floor. Anything to distract them and create positive associations with the vacuum's presence. Section 9. Bridging the gap tips for a truce. There are a few things we can do to make the vacuum less scary for our furry companions. Cats are naturally cautious creatures, and the loud noise and sudden movements of a vacuum cleaner can be quite intimidating for them. Start by introducing it slowly, perhaps letting them sniff it while it's turned off. This allows them to get used to its presence without the added stress of noise. You can even place the vacuum cleaner in a room where your cat feels comfortable and let them explore it at their own pace. Offer treats and praise when they show bravery. Positive reinforcement is key here. Every time your cat approaches the vacuum cleaner or shows curiosity, reward them with their favorite treat or a gentle pet. This helps them associate the vacuum with positive experiences and when it's cleaning time, create a safe space for them in another room, complete with their favorite toys, food and water. This safe haven should be a place where they feel secure and can retreat to whenever they feel overwhelmed. With a little understanding and compassion, we can help bridge the gap between cat and vacuum, creating a more harmonious household for all. It's important to remember that this process takes time and patience. Remember, every cat is an individual and what works for one might not work for another. Some cats may take to the vacuum cleaner quickly while others may need more time and reassurance. The key is to be patient, observant and always prioritize the well-being of our feline friends. By taking these steps, we can ensure that our cats feel safe and secure even in the presence of a vacuum cleaner. After all, a happy cat makes for a happy home. Section 10, The Unpredictable Feline. Embrace the chaos. At the end of the day, cats will be cats. They are creatures of contradictions, capable of both fierce independence and purring affection. Their reactions to the vacuum cleaner, however amusing or frustrating they may be, are simply a part of what makes them so unique and endearing. So the next time you see your cat engaged in an epic standoff with the vacuum cleaner, take a moment to appreciate the absurdity of it all. Section 11. In the end, love conquers all, even vacuums. The truth is, beneath all the hissing, spitting and hiding, our cats know we love them, and we love them for all their quirks, even their irrational fear of household appliances. So, let's embrace the chaos, celebrate the unpredictability, and remember that in the grand scheme of things, a little cat versus vacuum drama is just another hilarious chapter in our shared lives with these amazing creatures.